Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to a video called Top 10 British, British Scientists Who Changed the World. So this looks very interesting to me because I think when I think, I don't know, when I think of like famous like scientists, I think most if not all of the ones that I'm thinking of are probably from Great Britain. So let's check it out and comment, like and subscribe. Modern life wouldn't be the same without these brilliant minds. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK and today we're counting down the top 10 British scientists who changed the world. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we've looked at scientists born in Britain whose work has changed human life forever. Number 10, Peter Higgs. You've okay, probably heard of the Higgs boson particle and the Large oh. Hadron Collider that was built to observe it. Of what course. you might not know is that the man that the actual particle was named after is actually British. Oh. Originally from Newcastle, he is one of the six physicists that were responsible for suggesting the particle might exist and kick-starting the entire process to prove their theory. In 2000... I have to admit, I think it's a very... the particle collider is a very famous thing, but I do not understand like the science behind this. <laughs> In 2012, they finally announced that they had discovered the particle and the following year, Higgs was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Of course. Number 9. Alexander Graham Bell Born yeah. in Edinburgh, Bell is not only the founder of American company AT&T, but also the inventor of the telephone. Oh. So you can thank this man for your... I knew obviously about the telephone, I didn't know that he was the founder of AT&T. ...smartphone, even if he might not recognise it as the descendant of his device. Hired by no, Gardner Hubbard to experiment with ways to send multiple telegraphs along the same line, Bell was also given funding to explore his true passion, the transmission of the human voice. In 1876, from the comfort of his packed office, he demonstrated his invention by making the first phone call. Number 8. Dorothy Hodgkin Known for her work with X-ray crystallography, which is the technique used like to determine the structure of crystals, Dorothy Hodgkin okay. worked primarily with biological molecules. She was a pioneer. I thought it was like like the hospital, probably not. Scientist in the field of structural biology, and throughout her life, she deciphered the structures of penicillin, vitamin B12, mm. cholesterol, and after 35 years of work, insulin. She was wow. the third woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, and to this day, is the only British woman to receive the award for one of the sciences. Oh wow! Number seven, Alexander Fleming. We're incredibly <laughs> lucky that so many scientists have done the work yeah. to find cures and ways to keep us healthy. But the one that made our list is Alexander Fleming, who discovered penicillin and paved the way for modern antibiotics. Yeah, of course. Although he technically discovered it accidentally by having a messy office and leaving out <laughs> cultures of staphylococci, there's no argument. I feel like it's the cliche of like the weird scientist that just like leaves things like out of place, which I think probably would not fly in a modern lab. Doing with the results. In 1945, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, oh, wow. which he shared with two others. Number six. Everyone's getting Nobel Prizes left and right. Francis Crick, James Watson, and Rosalind Franklin. London-born Rosalind Franklin used X-ray crystallography to better understand the molecular structure of DNA. Her pioneering work was then the basis for the work of Watson and Crick. Francis Crick okay. is the British half of this duo, and together with his American partner, they discovered the helical structure of DNA. They okay, but it was a team effort. They were jointly awarded a Nobel Prize for their discovery, which also explained how information is transferred inside your DNA. It's Sadly, like since working. Rosalind Franklin had died in 1958, she could not share the honour. Oh, no. Nonetheless, their discovery added significantly to our understanding of how living things work. Number it's 5. Like didn't Alan benefits. Turing. Born in London, Turing's work spread across oh, several guy. areas of study, but he is most famous for his work with computer science. He was hugely influential in the development of the study, so much so that he's today remembered as its father. If it's crazy to think that that thing was a computer. If you don't know him from his groundbreaking work in computers, you might know him for his contribution to the British effort in the Second World War. Yeah. He worked at the centre of Britain's code-breaking team and was responsible for helping to break the German ciphers, allowing allies to ultimately defeat the Nazis. Look at that, father of computer science, math mathematician, logician, wartime code breaker and victim of prejudice. Oh my god, why, why was he prejudiced? Number 4. Tim Berners-Lee This is the scientist that you're probably going to want to thank the most because without him, we wouldn't be bringing you this video. Berners-Lee is the inventor of the World Wide Web. Oh. It all started with him wanting to find a way to share information between research. It's crazy to think that someone, just one guy, invented the internet. That's crazy. 
He built the software to facilitate this and years later, spotting an opportunity to pair his creation with the internet, the pretty mind-blowing online system that we all know and love today was born. Few technological okay, devices- not the internet, sort of like the web, I get it, like the World Wide Web. Crazy thing, still, it was just one guy. Elements have had such a clear impact on the modern world. Yeah. Number three, Stephen Hawking. With a long list of books to his name, including children's books, and a film made Everything. about his life, Hawking has had such an influence on mankind in modern yeah. scientific thinking that he has become a household name around the world. His most notable works are his study of black holes and his work in cosmology, yeah. which is concerned with the origins of the universe. All of his amazing essays, ideas and theories were made in spite of his motor neuron disease, which he overcame for decades, completely defying expectations. I think like that's obviously it, it hinders like his ability hindered his ability to walk and move, but like his brain, which is what it's the important part. Like it was like well, it, obviously he managed to build the thing. I know he couldn't speak, but you know whatever. It's the brain. What's what what matters the most? And like what would it care? Like what would you care about this disease if like his brain is intact? I think like obviously incredible that he overcame this, but at the same time it's like again his brain was completely unaffected. So you know that's that's good. Hawking will go down in history as one of the greats, or rather, he already has. Number two, Isaac Newton. Who, when you think of Newton, then? you probably think of the famous apple story. Although it's not strictly true, well. the apple didn't actually hit him on the head. He did claim it inspired his theory of gravitation. Like many on <laughs> I don't think of like apples when I think of Newton. I think of the gravity, but... On today's list, Newton also worked across several different fields of science, but he was most famous for his theory of gravity and the laws of motion. He's often yeah. considered to be the most influential scientist of all time. Exactly. Wouldn't you know it? He just so happens to have been born in Woolsthorpe, Lincolnshire, England. Yeah, where's that? Number one, Charles Darwin. Oh, okay. Our number one <laughs> spot is reserved for this incredible Makes scientist sense. because yes. not only was his work hugely influential, but he also changed the way we viewed life itself. It's true. His theory of evolution completely rewrote history and demonstrated that all life evolves from common ancestors. Yeah. Previous theories had tried to explain similar concepts, but Darwin's came with such convincing evidence that it was hard to argue against it. Scientists yeah. have gone on to gather even more evidence since then, and the fundamental concepts continue to hold up. Darwin's of work course. ultimately <laughs> changed the face of biology yeah, that was, and what, that's the understanding of nature. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Yeah, I think the list makes complete sense. I was when I when I saw when I saw like, wait, if Newton's number two, then who on earth is gonna be number one? But yeah, it makes all the sense in the world. Yes, of course, it's Darwin, another like great scientist. We owe a lot to like I think we owe a lot to each and every one of these people. Like I don't think we are like modern life would be the same without them. I think probably again like for in order of like probably importance, I think it would be hard to rank them because again they're all important different in different sort of like areas and different in different sort of like I don't know ways. Obviously, like the Darwin one, it doesn't have like I think it's well for me to say, but it's like it doesn't have any like semblance of like I mean when I when you go around your daily life, you're probably not thinking. Oh, you know, like, again, I'm going to contrast this with someone like the guy, Tim, Tim Berners-Lee, apparently, I think that was his name. He was the one that invented the World Wide Web. So, like, the internet. I think, like, again, it's someone that you have to thank for, like, every single day, you know, you're using the internet. It's like, wow, something that everyone uses every day. Like, wow, this guy, like, we, he's responsible for our, for our lives the way they are. And Graham Bell, of that, uh, as well, of course, like, he, he, he was the phone. And yes, you know, it wasn't like, it wasn't a cell phone, but I think if we hadn't had a phone, like we wouldn't have cell phones in this day and age. So I think, again, those are like two at the top of my of my brain that I'm thinking, wow, you kind of like thank, thank them every day in a way because you're constantly using like their, you know, their, the, the, like you're, yeah, you're, 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 they're not their, not their inventions, but sort of like their, I don't know, like thanks to them, your life is the way it is. But of course, if I start to think about this, oh, and, and, and Turing as well, because again, he created like computer, well, he didn't, he did he create a computer? He did a lot of work on computers. I don't know if he actually like, he created, he, or he actually created the computer. So again, also him as well. Yes, of course, you have to thank a lot to him. But I think like other things of like, the, the pen, penicillin, yes, Alexander Fleming, you have to, again, you're not thanking him daily, but at the same time, you kind of are because you're, you're alive thanks to, again, the, the, 
the way of like how modern modern medicine works and because of antibiotics that's how you you're alive and you're able to achieve like adulthood because of like both this so and, and on one team like that's of course that's good and that's how you, you should be kind of like thanking them and there's sort of like a constant process in your in your mind that people again like the peter hicks like the hicks thing like the glider and Darwin and Isaac Newton and Stephen Hawking like I think they're less so of like in your the daily life you probably think about less about them although again it's crazy to say because again like Newton like it was the laws of gravity and the laws of like motion like of course you're using them you're, 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 not, you're, not, you're not using them as in like I'm using gravity no but it, because it wasn't an invention but he, I, he actually managed to actually understand how the universe actually works and that actually like oh thanks to him like like we have a lot of things and I think like you, it can be traced back to Newton which of course I, I think in a way of that's what we should be thanking him and Darwin is the same you're not constantly thinking well thanks for Darwin like we have the theory of evolution which I mean yeah sure it's like in the back it's in the back of your mind that you're not constantly when you're using a phone you're like well thanks for Darwin no of course not but it's like thanks to him like we have the theory of evolution we know where we came from so it is like yes again it has and obviously it has developed like so it's so many like so many theories and supportive evidence again it's really important to know like where the human like where humans came from and not just humans because he worked a lot on actually like living creatures and animals actually to prove <laughs> to prove evolution how, how evolution works so it is like yes of course we have to thank a lot to darwin but it's not probably something that you're like constantly thinking about like well thanks for him so i think again maybe and stephen hawking as well probably i think he would be like maybe the little bit of like again the outlier of the of the of this list of like again of like I don't I don't know if I think about him that often because again he was a very famous scientist of course but I you know he again he created like he created he developed a lot of theories that are really important in for you know for the world but I think like you 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 usually are not thinking wow thanks for like Stephen Hawking it's like no <laughs> but unless you're a scientist or unless you work on a similar field I think you're like less less concerned about like you know what we should be thanking them but i really do think it's a great list and i think they all absolutely deserve their spot the ones that actually develop like dna structure as well like again we always like so many of them they indirectly i think that's probably where i'm getting going with this is like we owe a lot to them just indirectly because of course if it hadn't been for them like imagine like we wouldn't have like a lot of like scientific breakthroughs even in medicine so it is like yes of course <laughs> like thanks to them we were able to actually do a bunch of things so that i think falls again in the same category as like Isaac Newton and Charles Darwin as in like yeah technically again you're not constantly thinking about them but in a way thanks to them you're you're again we are able to like live our lives so it is like you know what quite quite important quite an important list I I think like they mentioned everyone that I get I'm not like super knowledgeable about this but I think they mentioned like everyone that I was thinking I you know yes of course Darwin Newton I think those were the first ones that I was thinking and Stephen Hawking as well and Alexander Fleming those are probably the ones I was thinking about like when I when when before the video started I was like I think those were like the most famous like famous like British scientists but yes it was I didn't know that the ones that actually did TG anything like those were also British well it was a team but I didn't know a lot of them were British and the the one with the the Peter Hicks one with the Hicks particle and stuff which I'm still not a little bit clear I know it's important and yes I know it's having to do with like the the molecules the atoms and stuff and how again how the universe works but I don't think I understand the actual like I don't think I understand it completely like I think like, if I did a test I think I would fail I think but I didn't know that he was also British I don't know why I thought he was wasn't he like Swiss or something I don't know but I think I actually I'm I'm glad to see that a lot of them were have, have been recognized were recognized with like the Nobel with Nobel prizes like that's good but I think Nobel prizes obviously it's a really great like for their careers of course it's gonna be like yeah well thank you because this is the highest achievement but I think ultimately what really matters is sort of like your imprint on the world and what again like what kind of like thanks to me like this kind of things like were developed and things to me like the world is the way it is so again i think i would i don't know did charles darwin i don't think he was alive right when but by the time like nobel prizes like came out 
that he obviously he should have won one and probably again Newton Newton as well but I know, I, I know Newton absolutely not he wasn't alive when by the time Nobel Prizes like came about but actually having to, I'm thinking about this because a lot of them have had Nobel Prizes especially ones in like recent semi recent years which obviously obviously super deserved but the the, the World Wide Web guy the Tim Berner Tim Tim Berners Lee I'm surprised yeah I don't I don't think he won a Nobel Prize maybe I missed it maybe I'm misremembering. He should have won it, right? Like, I'm not crazy. Like, he should have won it. I don't know. It seems crazy to me that he hasn't, he didn't got it. Because, again, we see this basis of, of the internet, how we use it. So it's kind of like, oh my god, I don't think if anyone, like, I think he should, he should probably, he deserves his roses. Maybe, again, crazy, because I don't know anything about this. Probably he's like, I don't know, he's mega rich and probably has his own accolades. But I'm like, poor guy doesn't have a Nobel Prize. I don't think he cares. Like, he's probably, again, I'm pretty sure he must be alive. And he's like, he's best, basking in his millions of dollars, probably a billionaire. And... People probably like do like give him like wow you know you you actually created how the world works in this in this modern day and age which I think sounds crazy again to think of like it was just one guy that's crazy to me that's like mind blowing but yes a lot of these things are like I can't believe like how the capacity of human mind and what humans are able to achieve like it's kind of it's kind of mind blowing it sounds like super cheesy and cliche. That I really do think, like, seeing, like, this list of, like, the incredible achievements that we as humans have been able to accomplish, like, wow, like, the human brain, it's quite a thing, right? Incredible what these people have been able to do. Obviously, they're famous and they're important because not everyone is, like, has those brains. Like, if everyone could do it, like, it wouldn't be that important. But still, you know, it, this is just a small selection. And again, it's crazy to think of, like, the humans of... The limits of like human mind, like wow, it's like really a mind blowing thing, and it's like, yeah, it makes me like in awe, really. But that was it for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.